We begin tonight in Luzerne County, where hundreds are looking to the sky to try to get a glance at something out of this world. Traveling at a little more than 125,000 miles per hour, the Green Comet is on display at the Friedman Observatory at Penn State Wilkesbury. Among the stargazers, Newswatch 16's Jack Culkin. More than 100 people came out to see the Green Comet through the telescope at the Friedman Observatory on Penn State's Wilkesbury campus. So anytime you see something like this, you know, it's very rewarding. Professor Dr. Violet Major points out the last time this comet was able to be seen was when cavemen walked the Earth. It's pretty rare to have a naked eye comet. This one is just barely visible to the naked eye, but we can see it just fine with binoculars and telescopes. The green comet is moving at a rate of about 120,000 miles per hour, but you can't really tell because it's 24 million miles away from the surface of the Earth. And I thought it would be really cool to see something that almost no one's ever seen before. Benjamin Nayer and his sister Emily got to take advantage of the once in a lifetime opportunity. It was kind of fuzzy, but I could see it. It was moving and it was kind of like greenish. I looked into the telescope and I saw like this, um, a green like the green comet. Mark DeMarco of Wilkesbury says it's not his first time stopping by the observatory to see what's up in the sky. Well, it's just something that I shared with my son when he was a little kid that we came we came to see the other comets and we came to the planetarium to see Mars and things like that. It's just to keep interested in, in astronomy, you know, it's just a great thing. It's really cool. DeMarco thinks the comet came at just the perfect time. And don't forget, it's the green comet, and that's an omen for the eagles. Jack Culkin, <laughs> Newswatch 16, Luzerne County.